Love. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Raba and the Cyclops Curse. This game was published by East Asia Soft and it was developed by Gallup. This game is a super easy 20 to 25 minute completion or platinum trophy, and on top of that, it's only $4.99. The achievements aren't going to require us to complete the game or anything like that. We simply need to complete the first six levels and that's going to be super easy as long as you go to the options and you change the game mode to kids. This is basically going to make it so that you don't take any damage and you can't die. Aside from that, let's go ahead and start up the tutorial. Now let's talk achievements. We have three achievements related to killing enemies with their standard power. We get an achievement after killing 15 enemies. 35 enemies and then finally 50 enemies with our standard power. Aside from that, we have different powers and we can alternate through them using LB and RB or if you're playing on PlayStation, L1 and R1. Now we have the red power which shoots up diagonally. We get an achievement after killing 15 enemies with this red power. We also have the green power which is basically like a green slime ball that it throws at the ground in front of you. We get an achievement after killing 35 enemies using the green power. You also have the yellow power all the way on the right. If you use this power, it's going to reveal secret areas or secret items. So occasionally you want to use that power to make sure you're not missing out on any secrets. These secrets could include hidden areas, hidden clouds that you can jump on, or even orbs that you can break open to get items. The yellow orbs have coins inside of them. We do have achievements related to collecting coins. You're going to get an achievement after collecting 250 coins. Aside from that, some of the orbs are rainbow and those will have items inside of them. Sometimes they will upgrade your weapons or your character and then sometimes it will just be an extra life We get an achievement or trophy after getting three extra lives in total Aside from that you do need to find 15 hidden power-ups So you want to make sure that you keep looking for those hidden items because we do have an achievement related to finding 15 of them for instance We just revealed those clouds to be able to get to that part of the level and we have a rainbow orb up here we can use the red power to go ahead and break it open and it's going to give us a power up. We need to find 15 of those secret power ups to get that achievement or trophy. Now that shield would have let me run through all of this, but I wanted to point out that after you take damage and respawn, you're going to end up flashing for about five or six seconds. This is basically going to make you invincible until you stop flashing, which is going to allow you to jump through spikes and jump through challenging areas. It's going to make it way easier to beat the six levels quickly. But first, we have to make sure that we knock out all of the other miscellaneous achievements. Now, the most challenging one here is probably the one for finding 15 secret items or secret orbs. So just make sure that you're following along and that you're revealing all of the secret orbs that I am, and you'll make sure to get it as soon as I do. Because I've already revealed a lot of secret orbs, so just make sure you're following along and that you're revealing those same secret orbs that I am in this video. Other than that, you're going to end up at this area right here where you're going to have a bunch of... Uh, enemies that just respawn out of these portals right here I went ahead and grinded out my achievement for getting 35 kills with my green power Eventually after you've killed 35 enemies You're going to pop that green power achievement worth 100 gamer score for killing 35 enemies with the green power You can also try to rack up uh, kills with your red power However, eventually at least for me the enemies stopped respawning So I had to go ahead and continue on with the level You're gonna have to use the green power to get up here and in instances where you have these spikes ahead of you, you can either just jump through them uh, after you get hit because you'll be flashing. But the correct way to do it is to use your blue power to freeze them and then use your standard power to break the ice. And then you'll be able to break through uh, those obstacles. You're going to find instances where you're not going to be able to jump that far to get across you know, a gap. In those instances, you want to use your yellow power to reveal the secret hidden cloud that you can jump on to be able to get past that obstacle. Now after you complete the tutorial, you're going to get an achievement for doing so. And then we're actually going to start up the game. So go to new game. And again, we're going to have to complete the first two sections. Each section has three levels. So we're going to have to complete a total of six levels to get our full 1000 G. At first, we're going to be going for all of the miscellaneous achievements, but then eventually we can just go ahead and try to complete the levels to get our final achievement. Now in the meantime, you want to make sure you're collecting as many coins as possible because we do have an achievement related to collecting 250 coins. So you are going to see me go for coins in the beginning, but once we pop that achievement, we can totally skip the coins moving forward. Other than that, 
Uh, we do have the achievements related to getting the kills with each power. We have five powers in total. We have the standard power, the blue power, the red power, green power, and then the yellow power. Now, only three of the five have achievements related to them. There's no achievements related to the blue power, basically the freezing power, and there's no achievements related to the secret area power, the yellow power. We only have achievements related to red, green, and then our standard power, which is the one all the way on the left. For red, we need to get 15 kills using the red power, which I'm going to go ahead and do right here. Don't spam the uh, shoot button because then you'll end up shooting the portal. Just wait for them to appear and then just tap it to kill an enemy one by one. And eventually you're going to get your achievement for killing 15 enemies using the red power. Now at this point, personally, I've got my green power and red power achievement. So the only other achievement that I'll need moving forward, or you'll need moving forward as long as you're following along, is the achievements related to getting kills with the standard power. The standard power, again, is the one all the way on the left. That's basically your standard projectile power. Now, to get all of the achievements related to this, you need to kill 15 enemies, 35 enemies, and then finally 50 enemies using the standard power. So, until I get that, you are going to see me try to kill enemies using this standard power. Now, we're going to have to get past this area. To do this, you need to use your frozen power right there to freeze those obstacles. And then we need to use the yellow power to reveal the clouds beneath them. As you can see, I just got my O oh shiny achievement for getting your first rainbow star. If you didn't see how I collected it, feel free to rewind it. That's another miscellaneous achievement. There's also a secret orb right here, so make sure that you use your yellow power to reveal that one. Aside from that, I used my yellow power to reveal all of these clouds, which allowed me to get over that section. And then I can go ahead and use my red power to bust open that orb and this orb as well. And if you haven't figured out already to get through the yellow blocks, you have to use the standard power, which is also another yellow power. All right, and then we have a bunch of enemies right here. I should be unlocking my next achievement related to getting kills with the standard power shortly. There we go. I've got the power for a 50 gamer score for killing 15 enemies using the standard power. But I still have an achievement related to getting 35 kills and then finally 50 kills with this power as well. Again, you don't really need to worry about enemies hitting you or anything like that. There's another secret star up here. You have to use your secret power to reveal it. And then we're going to move forward. You see that diamond right there? That is the exit for each level. So ultimately, our objective is to find that diamond and go through it to end the level. Now, to end this level, we're going to need to get out our blue power and we're going to need to shoot across right here. And then we're going to need to use our standard power to break them. You can jump up here and shoot the rest of them. That will allow you to jump on this edge and then use the green power to destroy those blocks and then finish the level. All right, sweet. So. We definitely have at least half of the achievements so far. Now it's time to officially play the second level, or technically the third level if you count playing the tutorial, which I don't. It's six levels plus the tutorial. And again, the only achievements related to kills that we still have left are for our standard power. We need to get 35 kills and then finally 50 kills. So I'm gonna be going for that, but then after that we don't need to really worry about killing any enemies at all really just focus on proceeding through the level and finishing it. We get an achievement after completing the four stages, which is the first three levels, and then finally after clearing the desert stages, which is the second three levels, uh, basically levels four through six. Aside from that, we need to keep revealing those hidden orbs to get the achievement for finding 15 hidden power-ups. And those hidden orbs may help us get the achievement called Extra Lives for the Win, we're collecting three extra lives in total. So as long as you just keep revealing those hidden orbs, the other achievements are going to follow, like the 250 coins, the 15 uh, upgrades, as well as the three extra lives. So as long as you're just doing your due diligence to make sure that you're using your yellow power to reveal secret areas and secret orbs, then you'll end up getting all of these eventually. Plus, if you're following along with this video, I'm showing you where I found my 15 secret orbs or secret areas. So. Just follow along and you'll make sure to get the achievements as well. And then once we have all of these miscellaneous achievements, again, we're just going to rush through the rest of the levels. 
making it a super easy 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy. Now right here we have a good opportunity to rack up our kills with our standard power just because there's a lot of portals around here. So feel free to just you know kill a bunch of enemies before you destroy their portals. Just because again we need to get 50 kills using that standard power. We can use that cloud right there to jump up and get that extra live. That ended up unlocking my extra lives for the win achievement worth 100 gamer score for getting 3 extra lives in total. Aside from that, I'm going to keep shooting these enemies. I already got my achievement for 35 kills with the standard power, however I need that last one. The third and final one is for getting 50 kills with that standard power. Alright, so we're going to continue to the right right here. We have another rainbow orb. Nice, we had a shield inside. We have another coin orb. I'm going to make my way up here, destroy this other coin orb. And then we're going to backtrack just a little bit. We're going to jump up these clouds and get this coin orb over here on the right. And then after that, you can shoot your uh, ice power up or your blue power up to the left. And it's going to break that other orb in which you can go down and collect those coins as well. Aside from that, we're going to continue to the right hand side. Just jump platform to platform, hopefully not dying like I did. But as I mentioned before, after you die, you're going to flash for about 5 or 6 seconds, which is going to make you invincible in the meantime. This combined with the kids mode can really help you cheese through these levels pretty quickly. We're already at the end of this level. Collect that power up right there, and just advance to the left. And we're, in the meantime, I'm killing all of these enemies. Hopefully I'll be getting my next achievement related to getting kills with the standard power. There we go, right on call. Again, that's for getting 50 kills with the standard power, which is the power all the way on the left-hand side. Jump over here, destroy this portal. And then aside from that, to be able to jump platform to platform, you're going to need to reveal the hidden cloud in between. So if you're not seeing that cloud, make sure that you use your yellow power up and scan the area so that you can reveal that hidden cloud. That way you can get over the platform. And then jump through the exit and stage complete onto the final level of the forest area and then we'll end up getting our achievement for completing all of the stages in the forest area and then on to the desert area in which we're gonna have to complete the next three levels or only three levels in that area and then after that we'll end up having all of the achievements or trophies there we go I just got my achievement related to getting 250 coins after busting open that coin orb right there so at this point um, the only other achievement I need is the achievement related to getting 15 hidden power-ups in total. Aside from that, I unlocked all of the other achievements. I got all of my achievements related to kills. I got the achievement for getting the extra lives. I got the achievement for getting the coins. Yeah. At this point, guys, um, as long as you're following along, you should only have your achievement related to finding 15 hidden power-ups. And then aside from that, all we need to do is complete the first six levels and we'll have this full 1000 gamer score. Gotta say, I think I'm getting close to getting the achievement for the 15 secret areas. Personally, I feel like I've already um, revealed 15 secret areas, but I guess not because the achievement hasn't popped quite yet. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that one up. Okay, there we go. That ended up unlocking it right there. Find 15 hidden power ups in total. Perfect. So as long as you guys are following along, hopefully you just unlock that achievement as well. If not, just keep trying to reveal secret areas and keep busting open those orbs until you unlock it. And then after that, all you have left are the achievements or trophies related to level progression. We need to finish this final level in the forest to get the through the woods achievement for clearing all of the forest stages. And then finally, our last achievement will be for clearing all of the desert stages, which again is the next three levels, levels four through six, four, five, and six. After you complete the sixth level, you will have the full 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy. Now, now, before I cut the commentary, I do wanna point out that this level specifically is a little different compared to the other levels because you have these thorn bosses. And what we need to do is we need to go all the way to the right until the thorns appear to block us and then after that, you're going to have to advance all the way back, basically to the beginning of the level to fight each of these thorns. The thorns don't appear until you get all the way to where I just got to, basically the end of the level. 
Uh, so basically the level requires you to go all the way to the right, all the way to the left, and then all the way back to the right. So just continue on to the left hand side and destroy all of the thorns. If the thorn is red, you need to kill it with the red power up. If it's blue, you need to kill it with the blue power up. And as you can imagine, if it's green, you need to kill it with the green power up. After you kill all three thorns, you can go ahead and head back over to the right hand side until you get all the way to the end in which the thorns will be out of your way and you can actually exit the level. Aside from that, the final three levels are fairly simple. Um, levels five and six, you simply go all the way to the right hand side until you complete the level. And then level six is actually a boss battle. And being that we're playing on kids mode and you cannot take any damage, it makes that boss battle extremely easy. So after you defeat that boss, you will unlock your final achievement or trophy. Other than that, the only thing I wanna mention one more time, just in case you didn't catch it earlier, we're on kids mode, so you don't take any damage. So every time you take a hit, you actually become invincible for a few seconds. And you can use this to jump through thorns, jump through challenging areas, or maybe areas that would have required a puzzle to get through, things like that. So just keep in mind that once you have all of these miscellaneous achievements unlocked, you can simply just head over to the right hand side and try to finish the last three levels. Aside from that, that pretty much covers everything that you guys need to know in terms of getting this full completion or platinum trophy. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the commentary right here as no more commentary is needed. But as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.
All right, guys, you guys should be unlocking your final achievement or trophy for clearing all of the desert stages. Let's just go ahead and verify that we got the full 1,000 gamer score. And there we go, 1,000 gamer score out of 1,000 gamer score. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.